I'm just hoping that YouTube won't censor me for this. Hello and welcome to our life. It is Sunday morning here in Brooklyn, and I am about to run out the door for a little drag rehearsal with some buddies. While these two are gonna hold down the fort with Jeremy and keep wedding planning a little bit. This is my bro -y little outfit for the day. Well, let's get a move on. It's been so nice and crisp the last few days here in Brooklyn that I almost thought we had entered fall, but I'm afraid that was just fake fall because now we're back to 90 degrees and humidity, but we are gonna power through. Had a short and sweet rehearsal in Maria Hernandez Park. Now I'm gonna stop by a very cute little vegan deli, grab some lunch for me and my baby, and head on home. Day and I wanted to show you what I got from that vintage bus. Look at this cute little skirt. We love the sweet little flower pattern. Very cute. If you're interested, that bus is usually parked at the Morgan L stop in Bushwick. I always end up finding something cute there, so go take a look. We're about to go on a walk in the park. It's a beautiful, although hot day, mm -hmm. but it's my last day of break, so I'm gonna go out, try to enjoy it a little bit uh, before the craziness starts again. morning. It is honey mask o'clock. My skin decided to start freaking the f out a couple of months ago, pretty much right around when I started vlogging, which is inconvenient timing since we're getting married in a couple of weeks. So I've been trying out different products and solutions, and we've mostly gotten things under control. But one of the many things that I've been trying out this summer is Manuka honey masks. I can't entirely remember who told me that this was a thing, <laughs> but the internet has confirmed it. And I just happened to have this little container of Manuka honey in our cabinet that my boss actually got me back when I had COVID for the first time. And I never got around to using it for its intended purpose, but here we are. This particular brand is called Manukora. Apparently you can't do this with just any honey that you have lying around. So you might wanna Google that before you attempt this. And apparently this little number here is significant and a good marker of whether you actually have Manuka honey or not. That would be the MGO. Don't ask me what it means, but I have noticed that when I throw about a half a teaspoon of Manuka honey on my face for 20 to 30 minutes, everything feels a little softer. I've heard that there are some antibacterial qualities to this. So, you know, got 20 minutes to spare, give it a whirl. It is also a lot easier to get off than I thought it was going to be. You'd think honey would stick around for a while, but it comes off very easily with warm water. So. That's my questionable skincare tip for the day. But while I sit around with this honey on my face, we thought this would be a perfect time to order our wedding invitations. We have just about decided on the date and venue for our more traditional, more formal wedding ceremony and reception that we're going to have in the winter. Spoiler alert. And we're excited to share those details with you in a little bit. It is done. It's a little bit later and we're gonna get some dinner going. Today is Lee's first day back to classes for the doctorate. 
part of their nursing program. So I'm going to make one of their favorite vegan pasta dishes, which is a chipotle pecan pesto pasta dish. I just try and say that like five times. <laughs> the recipe I'm using is from Minimalist Baker, which is one of my go-to vegan recipe blogs, but it is adapted from a restaurant down in Austin that I came across when I was down there for a film festival a couple of years ago and was delighted to discover that someone had put together a copycat recipe. So here we go. Excuse our very uh, cluttered counter, but these are the ingredients that you're gonna need. And you pretty much just throw everything into a blender like so. This is what it looks like all blended up. And this is what it looks like when it's done for good measure. Gonna hang out and eat our pasta and watch other people's vlogs. We got some acidity, we got some heat, we got some sweetness. The trifecta. We'll see you later. Good morning. It is Thursday, which means we are officially one week out from our city hall elopement. And as such, I figured I would show you what I am going to wear that day. We're gonna do a little elopement fashion show for you. And we're going to do it with my pimple patches on because that's where we're at today. Excuse me, my eyes are up here. I'm just hoping that YouTube won't censor me for this. But this is the first piece of our outfit. My city hall dress is backless, so I had to find a uh, boob containment system to accommodate that. And uh, this is what the internet provided on that front. The VBT rabbit bra. Let's see how it looks in the dress. The next piece is, of course, the dress. I'll back up so you can see the whole thing. I saw this on Reformation probably like a year or two ago, and they actually discontinued this pattern in the meantime. But that is what Poshmark is for. Like I said, the back is totally open, so you can see all of my tattoos, or at least most of them. And here it is with the shoes. I found these at Buffalo Exchange. The brand is Bamboo. And I love the super feminine top with a slightly tougher boot. Feels very appropriate. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing for jewelry yet. Can't really do a necklace because my neck is sort of covered. Uh, but I have some earring options. First, we have this asymmetrical set. I honestly can't remember where they came from. It's probably mod cloth or some <laughs> The other option are these gold hoops. And I'm pretty sure these belong to my best friend's ex-girlfriend, which is very gay and we love that. So those are the two options I currently have jewelry wise. Let me know if you have any thoughts or other ideas. What do you think would look good? Oh, and of course, who could forget this guy? Never did a little engagement ring reveal, but here it is. Lee's dad Al actually found this in a box of costume jewelry uh, at an estate sale, but he has a good eye and knew that it was not costume jewelry at all. This dates back to 1918, which is pretty cool. And crucially, we got it for free, which we love. Oh my God, oh, my knees. So that is the city hall vibe. This next look is for the elopement reception party we're throwing at our favorite gay bar. Oh, tripping over cat toys. This might be my favorite look of all of the looks that I've put together for this. Not that I don't love all of them, but I mean, these shoes are from Bershka, which I think is Zara's little sister brand. The corset top is also Reformation. The blazer is Veronica Beard by way of Nordstrom Rack, which means I got it for 75% off, which is great. And then these pants are from Rosecut Clothing. These came into my life because Lee follows an Instagram that tracks uh, all of the outfits that Phoebe Bridgers wears, including the custom suits that she and the other members of Boy Genius wore for their Rolling Stone cover shoot where they were playing cowboys. Uh, so originally we wanted to see where those suits came from, and it turns out that they were all custom designs from Rosecut. But luckily, Rosecut also has a few ready-to-wear items that you can buy on their website. And thus, these came to be. I already showed you this choker earlier, but this is from an Etsy store called My Heart and Armor. I think it is super pretty. And again, best friend's ex-girlfriend's earrings. I will probably end up taking the laser off pretty early on in the day because it's supposed to be like 80 degrees. Um, yeah, I'm still figuring out the hair situation. I think I want to put it up so you can get the full effect of how good my butt looks in these pants. But style-wise, I am still playing around. And last but not least, we have an outfit for dinner after City Hall. This 
is what we're currently thinking. The suit is from All Saints, and the little corset bodysuit is from Madewell. Again, the blazer will probably come off pretty early because it's still very warm here. I'm not entirely sure about the red shoes. I might also just do these little black heels. These are from Everlane. I've had them forever. Huh. And then I thought I could wear the little necklace that I fixed up from Vermont with this ensemble. The only thing with this bodysuit is that these hooks come off very easily, uh, which is why I just want to wear it to dinner so I won't be constantly adjusting myself through any of the more dancey, active parts of the wedding celebrations. And there you have it, all three elopement outfits. I also have three additional outfits for the winter formal wedding celebration, which I will show you at a later date. I think, all told, I spent about $1,000 or maybe $1,200 on all six outfits, which I know is still a significant amount of money, but like, not bad given that you could easily spend that on one wedding dress. So, you know, I do what I can. Okay, neither of us feel like being on camera right now, but I didn't in the vlog, so Scooty is gonna end it for us! Yay, Scooty! Oh, she's leaving. Bye, Tootie! Oh, do you want to swim for everybody? Good swim! Good swim, Tootie! We'll see you next week! Bye! Jeremy, did you want to say goodbye too? Goodbye! <laughs>